Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the binary files in C++. So first of all, what the heck this binary file is? A binary file is a computer file that is not a text file. So it may contain any type of data and coded in the binary form for the computers can understand. All right. The main difference between a text file and a binary file is the way they handle the new lines. In Unix operating system, you know, the sentences end with a carriage return followed by a line feed. But you know, some other operating systems saw no reason to continue using two characters to end a sentence, but they couldn't agree on which character to use. Some used the carriage return and others used the line feed. You know, and they are now in C++ called as the new line. So when a file is open in a text mode, the C++ library converts the single new line character into what is appropriate for your operating system on output. Whether it's a carriage return and a line feed or you know it might be a single carriage return or a line feed. And when the C++ reads from the file, you know it does the opposite. Alright, the main difference between a text file and a binary file is the way they handle the new lines. So in C++, you know, if you open the file in the binary mode, then you know the C++ is not going to convert the end of the sentence or the new line to you know the carriage return or line feed in the file. So, so always use the binary mode when manipulating a file that's not in human readable format. You know, if you don't use the binary more, then the C++ library may modify any byte in the data stream that happens to be the same as the carry return or the line feed and so that, you know, the content of your file may get modified. So if you use a binary file, you know, whatever you write to that file will not be modified. In this tutorial, for the demonstration purpose, we're going to use two functions to operate on the binary files. They are called get and put. So this get and put are going to work on the single characters or a single byte. And that's why we need to create a character array in our program. And let's say input. And let's define a size, let's say 100. You know, just for the demonstration purpose is enough. And also we have included the cstring header file so that we can use the functions like strlen and the strcpy. So here I'm going to use the string copy or strcpy and assign some characters to this array. Let's say input and let's say learning layer rocks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open the file in the binary mode. So we're going to create an object of the yfstream class so that we can read and write to that file. So it's going to be fstream and let's say file and here first we need to specify the file opening mode. Let's say anil dot and let's say bin for binary file and then we need to specify the mode. So here if we don't specify the mode as binary, you know, the C++ is going to open the text file. So here to indicate that we're going to use IOS and binary and then we want to open the file for input and output that's why it's going to be ios in then ios out and also we want to trunk it so that you know every time we open up the file you know we get an empty file to work with so it's going to be trunk all right now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check whether the file has opened successfully or not. So it's going to be if not file dot is open, then we're going to say there was some errors while opening the file. So I'm going to use C out and it's going to be error while opening the file. All right. Let's add a semicolon and else if the file was opened properly, then what we're going to do is we're going to use the put function and we're going to write a byte by byte to the file. So here what uh, we're going to do is to loop through all the contents of this array. What we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop. So it's going to be for 
and let's create a loop counter variable and let's initialize this one to zero and then it's gonna be counter less than or equal to strlen what we can do is we can uh, create a variable here you know before this for loop and let's call it as length equal to strlen of input you now this length variable contains you know the number of characters stored in this input array so here counter is less than or equal to input and then counter plus plus so here in this for body we can write to the file so i'm going to use file dot put you know it's a method which is used to write to the file and it takes only one byte or one character so i'm going to refer input and the counter all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to read from this file and all of us know you know we need to reset the get and put position indicators and i'm going to use file dot seek g and i just want to pass zero you know you know we are resetting the position indicator so that when we read from this file we can read from the beginning and then we're going to use the get method to read a character by character from this file so this get method reads a character at the time so we're going to need a character variable and then i'm going to use a while loop and it's going to be file dot good and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna read so it's gonna be file dot get and we need to pass the variable where we want to store the rated character and then we're just gonna print it out so it's gonna be c out and ch all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program and hopefully we don't have any error all right we have an error that's because counter equal to zero counter is less than equal to input okay it should be length not the input you know i made a slight mistake there so build and run it again and this time hopefully no other errors all right now you guys can see learning land rocks so here you know we have written to a binary file and we have read it from that binary file so here just for the demonstration purpose you know we have written this character to that file so in normal case the binary files are used whenever you want to write the contents which are not in the human readable format you know the zeros and ones and uh, and this is how you guys can use the binary files in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial